expect through the rest of the work week coming up in just a little bit. Stephen. All right. Thank you, Daniel. Lafayette police are looking for an armed robbery suspect. The victim told police she was at a bank on Louisiana Avenue when her vehicle was hit by a black Lincoln Continental truck. When she parked in a nearby lot, the victim says the suspect tried to break her driver's side window. Police say when that didn't work, the suspect fired a shot through the window, reached inside and stole a deposit bag of cash. The victim had minor injuries. Here's a look at the truck driven by the suspect. During the robbery, the suspect had a black hooded sweatshirt with a bandana over his face. Call Lafayette Police or Crime Stoppers at 232 TIPS if you have any information. In a second armed robbery in Lafayette, police are looking for a man accused of robbing a convenience store last night with a knife. Police say the suspect entered a convenience store in the 4700 block of West Congress Street pretending to make a purchase. When the clerk opened the register, the suspect allegedly produced a knife and demanded cash before taking off in a white vehicle. St. Martin Parish deputies are looking for suspects wanted in connection with two armed robberies of a Dollar General stores in the parish within the last week. The first robbery happened last Saturday off Highway 31 in St. Martinville. Deputies say two masked males wearing hoodies and armed with guns entered at around 9 that night. The second armed robbery happened Friday night. Deputies say suspects matching the description of the first robbery entered the store off Highway 31 near Ruth Bridge. The men were also wearing similar clothing as last week's robbery. Each time the suspects took off on foot after the robberies, call the St. Martin Parish Sheriff's Office if you have any information. And a heads up for Melville residents, the town will be without water tomorrow morning due to the relocation of a main water line. Residents are asked to make necessary arrangements during this time. Water will be shut off from 8 a.m. until noon. Family members of the Nina lost in the Tasman Sea have launched a petition, to, petition drive to encourage cooperation from the U.S. State Department. UL student Danielle Wright and six others have been lost at sea off the coast of Australia for more than 100 days. For a look at the petition or to track the search efforts for the Nina, head over to KTC.com. And Acadiana Band is working to make it to next year's Sugar Bowl. The Basil Bearcat Band held a fundraiser today to raise money to get to the Superdome in January. A washerboard tournament, live auction, and food and drinks were part of the event. Basil High is one of 15 high school bands across the country invited to perform at the halftime for the Sugar Bowl, which is in New Orleans. To know that they feel the same way about the Basil Band to come and support us and you know spend their money, help us raise money for this trip, it's really great to know that we have the whole town on our side. Moving to state news, two inmates, one of them behind bars for a Lafayette murder, are back in custody after escaping from Angola State Prison earlier today. Angola officers say Melvin Johnson and Aaron Francois climbed over the fence just before 9 this morning and ran toward the levee near the prison. Two hours later, the inmates were found on prison grounds. Johnson is a convicted rapist from Orleans Parish. The other, Aaron Francois, robbed and killed a Lafayette cab driver, Wallace, Wallace Wally Bado, for less than $100 back in 2009. The two were cellmates and while working in the prison yard, broke through the bottom of a fencing area and maneuvered through razor ribbon on a second fence. Both have been transferred to the prison's treatment center for evaluation. Coming up, we catch up with a Jeff Davis Parish girl who has become a nationally known face after meeting the president last week. More at 545, but first, it's officially fall. Meteorologist Daniel Phillips is in the weather lab with his True View forecast. It's next on the KDNS News Channel at 530. Ford Fusion. Ford Escape. Take your pick and go with zero. Zero percent financing for 60 months. Zero. No interest charges for five years on Fusion and Escape. So go with zero. Go with Arsenault. Easy to find. Center Street, New Iberia. Real people need real health insurance. So we started Louisiana Health Cooperative, a health plan that makes insurance accessible to the people of Louisiana, including those with pre-existing conditions. We're an independent, nonprofit company endorsed by the largest health care providers in the state. Want to learn more? Visit mylahc.org or call us. You might be eligible for subsidies or tax credits to help keep your out-of-pocket costs down. Louisiana Health Cooperative, real insurance for real people. 
It's back at Rooms to Go, and now it's even better. For a limited time, choose from 50 great looking rooms all under $1,000, or finance interest free for $20 a month or less. Living rooms, bedrooms, and dining rooms. 50 different rooms, each under $1,000 or $20 a month or less. How's that for great value? So hurry to Rooms to Go right now and choose from 50 different rooms under $1,000 or finance interest free $20 a month or less. Only at Rooms to Go.